All right, now to a group of student filmmakers in Allen Park working to discourage drunk and distracted driving. That's right, they created a film to spread their message, and it comes after losing one of their own. Now they're on a mission to make a difference and prevent such accidents from happening again. 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javid has the story. A safety video produced by Allen Park High School students. <laughs> with a simple yet important message. One decision can alter the course of your life forever. A team of 12 students spearheaded the short film to create awareness about the dangers of drinking and driving. Allen Park Police and Fire Departments helped bring the project to fruition. The, the kids did their best job acting and filming it. For other people, it shakes them to their core. Allen Park Police Chief Christopher Egan has been in law enforcement for 32 years. For him, every loss of life matters especially preventable accidents that result from being under the influence or distracted driving. And then it's the emotional baggage that the people that are still here, their family, their friends, um, honestly, the officers. For Chief Egan and the student filmmakers, the video is also personal. The project honors Faith Howard's cousin, best friend, and fellow Jaguar, Mia Howard. We are inseparable, so it was just a normal night together. September 22nd, 2021, after a long day of homecoming dress shopping, Faith and Mia were on their way back home, and it was in this area around 8.30 p.m. when their lives were changed forever. I just remember, you know, telling each other we love each other. A drunk driver hit Mia's car. Her dad, Denny, tells me Mia would have been 19 this coming Sunday. We would have had a party at the house, you know, like we traditionally do. Did you call me dad or pops? Or... Daddy-o. Daddy-o? <laughs> Daddy-o. Why is that? I have no idea, but I miss that. And, and for the longest time, you know, uh, after the accident, I kept waiting for that door to open. Those are the things that I don't have anymore. And her mother doesn't have those either, you know, because of a selfish, foolish judgment call. In 2022, Allen Park police responded to 67 drunk driving accidents. The year before, that number was 77. It's a trend that's got to stop. It, it's 2023. We, we got to be smarter with, with Uber and Lyft and designated drivers. Meanwhile, even though it was hard for Denny and Faith to watch the student film, they hope the message resonates. The kids did a phenomenal job and, and I hope it raises awareness. Now the chief says every second your eyes are off the road, you're potentially putting yours and others lives in danger. When in doubt, make sure you reach out to friends and family. Reporting in Allen Park, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News. Oh, thank you so much, Faraz.